Hi, I'm Bill Marino, the online learning librarian at EMU. Today we're going to talk about a feature that some of you may have noticed in your search results. This rainbow donut with a number inside. This is called an altmetric score, and it's a measure of an article's impact or influence. If you know what to look for, it could be useful to your research. Let's have a look. So here's an article that has an altmetric score of 186. If I hover over the badge, I get information, such as how many times the article has been picked up by a news outlet or tweeted about. It's pretty clear that this number has something to do with the article's influence outside of the traditional academic realm. So why would the number of tweets that an article generates be important? To understand this, we have to look into how research, and in turn, the researchers who produce it, are evaluated. When a researcher is evaluated for promotion and tenure, they need to show that their work has had some impact on their field of study, that has reached a broad audience and added to the scholarly conversation on a topic. In other words, they must show that they become an authority on their subject. Traditionally, this has been done by showing that one's work has been cited by others in the field. However, this only captures the impact in academic circles. What if a researcher wanted to show the impact that their article had in a broader context? Enter altmetrics. It's important to know that there is not one exclusive standard type of altmetric. Depending on the database you're searching, you may see the rainbow badge, a multicolored node, or even a square grid. Each method is owned and developed by a different organization and presents information differently. Also, keep in mind that altmetrics are not used or accepted by every discipline. For now, though, we're going to focus on the rainbow badge. When you see it in a library database, clicking the icon will transport you to a page with detailed altmetric information on the article. Those tweets? Well, with them, we can begin to get a picture of the article's geographic reach. This article has reached readers in at least nine countries across the world. Pretty cool, right? But I promise that altmetrics can help with your research. So let's get on to that. The main way that this page can help you is by leading you to other articles that have either influenced or been influenced by the article. Remember in our last video, we explored an article's references and the cited by feature in many of the library's databases. Well, if you look at the Dimensions Citations tab, this will also lead you to a comprehensive list of references and citing articles, as well as grant information if the study was grant funded. The other way that altmetrics can help occurs less frequently, but it's worth knowing about. Oftentimes when researching a new subject, particularly medical or science topics, the jargon used in the article can be difficult to understand, especially if you're just starting out in the discipline. Altmetrics, however, links you to news coverage or policy documents that reference the article, should they exist. This coverage is often from respected mainstream media outlets or governmental sources and is written for a more general audience, so you'll be able to get the gist of the article's findings without having to struggle with the technical terms. Of course you'll want to go back and read the article in detail, but often having an idea of the big picture will help with this detailed reading. Oh, and if your assignment calls for use of both scholarly and popular sources, You've now got that covered. So we've taken a quick look at altmetrics. Hope you find this helpful. Be sure to check out the EMU library's other resources, and if you still need help, ask a librarian.